Hey everybody, Red Diamond True Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Diamond Studios video. Boyfriend and girlfriend keep fighting. Let's get into this, guys. Even when we were just teenagers, my best friend Rob and I were pretty much doomed to have all kinds of issues. Of course, back then we had no idea. All we knew is we can never quite get ourselves to agree on anything. I told you, I told you, I'm gonna be the chess champion of the world someday, just like my grandpa said. I don't think that's a real thing. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Robbie, my boy. It's okay if you can't beat me. You're gonna like a lot of other things. Yeah, I can't really think of anything at the top of my head, but I'm sure there's something. <laughs> I'm not being a sore loser. I just actually don't think there's such a thing as world chess champion. Yes, there is. Yeah. Yes, there is. I told you a million times before that there is. You just don't think that I can actually be a champion one day. You what? sound just like my dad. What? Yeah, just that's, like That's... That's not what I said at all. See, here you go again, twisting around my words. Whether it was playing games or pretty much anything else, we were always getting into fights. You know, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna prove it to everyone that I can be a champion. Pretty soon I'll be traveling around the world, meeting celebrities, eating caviar. Can't wait to get out of this place. That's it, huh? I knew it. We just wanna leave as soon as we can. Yeah, well, why would I wanna stay in a place like this? He don't want her to leave him. She never understood. I did support her dreams. That wasn't my problem. I have fun being a champion. Just make sure to send a postcard. That's what my mom does anyways. You and her should be friends. Why are you angry? I'm not. Yeah, you are. You get like this every time. Every time that I talk about chess or being a champion or traveling, you get like this. I mean, you're my best friend. You're supposed to be supportive of me, but here you are always putting down my dream. No, it wasn't her dreams I was worried about. It was me, but I couldn't say that. My mom had left us and I was scared Megan would do the same. Oh, uh, uh, I was scared that Megan would leave him because his mom left him. Oh, I could see how that can be a struggle for him because maybe he feels like she feels that void that he's missing. Because his mom left, you know? Uh, that's... Sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. Bro. You know those stories when a guy and girl are best friends and one is in love but the other isn't? It wasn't like that for us. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we had so many problems communicating, we had been totally in love since high school. What we couldn't have known back then was, unless we worked out our past, we couldn't really have much of a future. You'd expect a story when the friends actually get together to have a happy ending. Then again, who really knows when a story is really over? If <laughs> I watched a year later, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, she left. His friend left, so now he dating some other girl. <laughs> so really, you like them too? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Quick, yeah. what are your three greatest wishes in life? Meg and I could never get through a whole conversation without some kind of argument or flat out fight. But for some reason, with Blanca, it was easy. We talked all through dinner without missing a beat. Have you ever had any trouble communicating how you feel with someone you care about? I did. Mm. 
But like I said, I'm studying to be a therapist now. So I know that when that does happen, it's usually because of something else. Mm. Why do you ask? Oh, um, no, no reason. Forget it. Uh, that person is not in my life anymore. It took a whole year, but I finally felt ready to date someone else. Or so I told myself. And then I saw her. Oh, oh. Of course, when I was finally ready to go on a date with someone else, he's there. Oh, my lady. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank that for you. Oh, such a gentleman. His day already know that they know each other. Try. Rob, hmm? are you okay? Oh, yeah, I am fine. Sorry, I just got a little sick. Um, but I did want to ask you a little something. Have you ever gotten your heart broken by oh, an Now he's about to be petty. He about to, oh man. Come on, he about to mess up a date with this nice girl because he's getting his feelings. That was weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so weird. Um, so let me ask you, Bill. Have you ever had your dreams crushed by an ex? Um, do you know that guy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I did, but don't worry about it. He's a nobody. <laughs> nobody. Dang, they both, they both just bought the mess up day days, man. <clears throat> nobody? Did you hear that? You, you heard that? She called me a nobody. Uh, is she your ex or something? Yes, no. Sounds like yes, but no. She's my forgotten ex. Will you excuse me just for one second? Then I'll be I'll be right back. Just real quick. Oh! oh Rob? Is is that you? Hey, I um, I, I didn't, I didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, why don't we make it a double? Um, actually, this is just okay. okay. Great, perfect. Let's do it. Come on, we're just um, we're gonna join them. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love your dress. It's so pretty. <clears throat> this is <laughs> awkward, bro. Uh, so, when did this? start um this is actually our first date oh. ours too <laughs> <laughs> having a great time yeah no i wouldn't put your hopes up there bill really why he gotta go mess with a hand touching <laughs> uh, i'm just gonna give you a piece of advice for a nickel um if i are you i would take heed because this one, as soon as she finds a chance to travel, gone, leave you in the dust, like a thing that leaves things in the dust. You know, or I could just take him with me. There's a thought. Oh, really? Uh -huh. You take him with you? Mm -hmm. Too bad we didn't all get the same treatment, huh, Bill? When, when did I ever travel? It's not like you wouldn't even let me if I could. Let you? Yeah. Are you kidding me? When have I ever stopped you from doing anything that he has ever wanted? You're always looking for oh, opportunity really? to go. Oh, really? Okay, well, let's talk about the very first time. Look, that's uh, yeah, his day is about is gone, bro. Come on out. What you're doing? Pushing where people you away. <laughs> Just like your what? mother. Yeah. Again, yeah. this is all your fault. You know I'm a psychology major, right? Yeah. So? So, that looked a lot less like two people who hate each other and more like two people. He's a psychology major and then old dude's date is a therapist. People who just haven't worked through their issues and not just in the relationship. <laughs> what does that mean? Are you saying that I have issues? You know, you have this fear about being left behind and abandoned, and you're clearly still in love with her. Ooh, no, um, I promise you, I'm not. You are. I don't, and who asked anyways? I bet you're the one that left her, right? Whoa, how, how did you know that? 
You know, if you don't work on your fears, it's gonna ruin good relationships. <laughs> you have to heal from your past or it's gonna ruin your present and future. First of all, there's nothing wrong with my past. I'm healed. I'm a done project. Hey, Blanca, you need a ride? Yes, please. I, well, um. <laughs> Do you guys know each other? Yeah, we go to the same school. Wow. See ya. That was... Oh, wow. Unexpected. <laughs> He said I have issues. Really? <laughs> you know, she told me the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> they both, they go to the same school, y'all. They both in psychology majors. Like, come on now, come on, come on now. <laughs> we don't have issues. No. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> Great. This is just great. I didn't even get to finish my food. I am so- I had to move on after all. It had been me who broke things off. So of course I said, oh, well, do you want to get something to eat? I know the best. The last thing I wanted was to go through another painful breakup with him. So of course I said, yeah, let's go. Right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. Maybe, Maybe I did have issues. issues. Hey, get your own. <laughs> it's not chocolate cake. <laughs> They sell this here. See, this is what you do. You order something and you don't like it, and so you inevitably come back and eat all of mine. I guess I never learned. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Eat it. You're gonna eat it anyway. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Could this really be happening? What if all our problems really were just misunderstandings like they said? What if we really did have issues since we were kids? It never made sense to me why he left, or why we fought so much. Um, <clears throat> I have to use the restroom. I'll be, I'll be right back. She was still the girl of my dreams. I handled it all wrong last time. Even with all our fighting, she was all <laughs> I ever wanted. I need to tell you something. Huh? I, I can't wait anymore. I need to tell you something. About what? I got a 2200 ELO. I, I know you don't know what that means. It, it's fake. It means that I can actually be a champion one day. Like, can you imagine? I am going to get to travel the world to play chess. Can you believe it? You got to get upset all over again. <laughs> I mean, it's everything I've ever wanted. Oh, uh, wow. Congrats. Yeah, happy for you. <laughs> it was hard for me to spend even one day away from her, but she wants to travel the world by herself. Was there even room for me in her dream life? As soon as I told you that I got a great score and that I could actually maybe be a champion one day, you got... Dang, that's how it happened. ...got cold and distant. I always told you that this is what I wanted and I thought that you would be happy for me, but... You really don't care about my dreams, do you? How could you even say that? Of course I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you're getting everything that you've ever wanted. I just wish that I could get what I want. Which is? You. It's always been you. I don't get how he wouldn't get her. I mean, just because she wants to travel the world, you could go with her. You know what I'm saying? Go with her and support her. All this time, I still carried it with me. It hadn't been Megan's fault. Blanco was right. There were issues from my past I had let get to me. All I had to do was communicate with her. I just had to tell Megan I was scared of. I guess she really had moved on. Maybe I was wrong. Who texted her now talking about they can't wait to ex or they're excited to see her tomorrow? Maybe it was finally time to stop carrying this thing around with me everywhere. Big surprise. Leaving without an explanation. Again. That's probably you know, you told your date that I broke your heart, but it's you who's always leaving. I'm sorry. If I crush your dreams. I didn't mean to.
You'll be happy to know that I didn't make it into the last tournament. Message from David, my chess coach. Well, at least someone supports He saw that and thought it was some guy she was seeing, but it's her coach. It's me. Why am I always my own enemy? Stronger is something I wanna be. Hope keeps on breaking on the kitchen floor. I want more than this. I'm not good at being nice to me. Always something else I wanna be. Every time it's different than before, I get torn from it. I didn't just erase Megan's number. I changed mine to make sure Megan and I never talked again, even though I loved her. I knew if we did, we would both just end up getting hurt. I still couldn't understand why Rob kept leaving and never supported me with chess. But I had to stay focused now. At the last minute, the winner dropped out. If I won in time, I would be flown to the World Chess Championship. My dreams, it would come true. I just had to not get distracted by. Blanca. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm your competition. Wouldn't be the first time, right? I guess Rob didn't tell you that we met at a chess tournament. You did. Why would he go to one alone? Yeah, I didn't quite understand that either, but now I know he was probably just looking for you. No. Mm, no, that, that can't be right. I mean, he's always leaving me and- That is right. He was looking for her. Aw, man. Anytime I would ever talk about chess, he would just get quiet. He hates that I play. Did he say that? Um, no, but he made it pretty obvious. Or was it obvious to you that something was off and you just assumed you knew what it was? The fears and anxieties from your past could sabotage good relationships if you don't work on them. Is there anyone else who didn't like you playing chess? My dad always made me believe this wasn't a realistic dream because my grandfather, who taught me to play, never made a living at it, even though he tried. Dang, so it's her, her dad didn't like her playing chess, so she just assumed that her best friend didn't like it either. That made me feel ridiculous for even thinking it would happen. And so did Rob. Or did he? Check. Paid. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I did it! I won! I'm, I'm going to the World Chess Championship! Congratulations! Thank you so much. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks. I hope you're packed. If you don't take a flight out tonight, you're going to be disqualified. Yeah, you're right. I have to go back. Um, and to answer that question from earlier, my dad, he never liked me playing chess either. Wait a minute. What if, what if it was just all in my head? What if me being a champion was never really the problem in the first place? Do you think that I was just scared that Rob was gonna end up like my dad? All I know is that Rob definitely loves you. And whatever it was, it was probably just good old miscommunication. Story of our lives. What if we had been fighting about different things this whole time? Oh no. If I didn't talk to Rob now, I wouldn't see him for months. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. There was nothing left for me in this town. I had to go someplace where I could start again. There were too many memories here. Postcards from my mom who left me. Just like Megan was going to do when she was traveling all around the world. Dang. Or was she? Megan was 
nothing like my mom. All this time, I was blaming Megan for something someone else did. Oh, man. I had to go see her. At Rob's place? He moved. And he changed his number. I guess he really meant it this time. What Megan said was right. It was me who had left her. He went to see her and she went to see him. And I was the one leaving again. I was so scared that she was going to leave me like my mom did that I left her first. Bill, are you here to see Meg? Uh, no, we're actually just neighbors. That's how we met, actually. Oh, that's good. Um, do you know where she is right now? Because I, I, I've been trying to tell her that I, I'm just still in love with her. <laughs> um, she went off to the World Chess Championship. She ran out of here all excited. Right. Oh my God, I'm totally... Yeah. Um, thanks, Bill. I'll... You're, you're here. Yeah, um, so Bill told me that you're leaving and I had to come here and tell you something. Me too. I, I have issues. <laughs> Wait, what? So, are you coming? I want to. I've always wanted to. It's just, you never mentioned bringing me along, so I thought you wanted to leave me behind. Well, I, I never mentioned it because I always just assumed that you would come with me. But I thought that you just wanted me to stay at home because you didn't support me or dream. Your dreams? You are my dreams. And I've been wanting to tell you that for so long. I didn't. Because I was afraid. afraid. Yeah. Mm. You know, nothing gets in the way of a relationship like fear and insecurities from our past. Yeah. The truth is, even when I was the most angry, I have always loved you. Me too. Which is why I want to ask you something that I've been meaning to ask for so long, and and I promised myself I wouldn't keep holding on to this, but... Megan, would you... Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all this time, I've... I've always loved you, and, and you loved me, and the only thing getting in the way was our past and, and ourselves. Aww. That was a nice love story. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos, and I'm out.